What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Today I want to talk about the Gecko Trading Bot, and how to lock down your Telegram Bot. So if you have watched my previous videos, I talked about Telegram and Gecko multiple times, and in this video right here, the one on top, says send signal to Telegram. This is just a basic setup video to show you how to set up your Gecko to send price information to Telegram. This is pretty good, but did you know that not only you have access to it, but anybody that knows the name of your Telegram bot is able to access this bot? So I'm going to show you that right now. So inside Telegram here, all you have to do is type in the name of the bot in the search box up top right here, and you'll be able to use the bot that whoever set up with anyone that ran an instance of Gecko with Telegram enabled, their bot is available to the public. So I'm going to start typing in Gecko A, and you'll see that there's these people that name their bots using the word Gecko inside. I have done so myself, right? Even my Gecko Test01 bot right here has the name Gecko inside it. So, and then you type in Gecko B, you'll see all these other bots. Fortunately, most of these bots are actually not running. So what that means is if you try to talk to it, nothing happens because the Gecko instance is not running, even though the bot is existing. So you you create the bot using bot bother on Telegram, but if your Gecko instance is not running, the bot itself won't talk back and won't respond back. So basically it's useless. But I did find a bot that is running and it's right, right here. There's the bat slash Eve bot. I don't know who runs it. It's definitely not me, but I can just enable a conversation right now and say I start. It will start the basic conversation. So I can type in like price and I can get the price information. I'm guessing this bot's running on like a three minute candle. I'm not exactly sure. So I've seen it in the past where it says two minutes ago all the time. So um, again, this is not my bot, but I can access it. I can play with it. So this is actually pretty good actually. It's not a big deal because I can only do the basic stuff like subscribe, unsubscribe, and check the price information, so on and so forth. So there's not really much that I can do. And it's almost like in a sense it's providing a service by having this bot online and available for anyone to use. You're providing a service to people. It's just a minor use because yes, it gives you access to the pricing right within Telegram. You can pull up this information in Binance as this trade pair is being traded on Binance. So you can go to Binance and find out. I mean, this is a little quicker, I guess. But the real problem is this. My second video, remotely control your Gecko via Telegram. What this video showed you guys is that with the modifications that I show you on this video, you can actually issue buy and sell calls via Telegram. So literally, I mean, I can type something like this. It won't work for this bot, obviously, because this bot is not working. But if I type something like slash buy, for example, the bot will actually issue a buy call to Gecko, and Gecko will make the trade. The problem is anybody can issue a buy call to your bot. So essentially, anybody can control your bot remotely, not just yourself. So that really is the main reason why you need to lock down your Telegram bot. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So inside telegrambot.js, inside the plugins folder, and I have it open right now, inside Visual Studio Code. If you guys need a refresher or um, just a tutorial on how to set up Visual Studio Code, definitely check out this video right here, Debug via Visual Studio Code. This video shows you how to set up Visual Studio Code so that you can run Gecko Trading Bot within it and also do some basic debug. Actually, it's pretty advanced debugging so that you can fix pretty much any problem that you have. So anyway, back here, inside the tele telegrambot.js file, inside this line verify question. So I'm going to go back up for a little bit just to show you what's happening in here. When you enable Telegram in Gecko, it runs through this initial process where it actually assigns a chat ID. So right now, the, the default, when it first starts up, the chat ID is no. The chat ID is basically like a, a nine digit. It could be longer than nine digit, but the default is a nine digit number that I have seen anyway nine digit number that identifies the conversation between the bot and the person that is talking to the bot. And then in the next few line, you see that um, it runs a new Telegram Fancy. Does this basically calls the Telegram TG Fancy 
plugin so that it can communicate with Telegram. And the next line here is actually the verify question function, which I was showing before. This is where it actually verifies and actually assigns a chat ID so that the bot can communicate and know which person it is communicating to. So going down to the verify question function right here. So in this first line, this.chatID equals message.chat.id. So the message parameter contains uh, the message itself and also the chat ID. What this line does is it assigns the chat ID that was stored inside the message parameter into this chat ID field right here. So that Gecko knows who to respond back to when it receives that message. So what we want to do right here is put in a breakpoint. So it's basically just a little red dot right here. So I just click on this on the gutter right here and that enables it. And from that point on, I could just launch it and have it start running. I want to start running. So what I would then do is go back into Telegram and start a conversation with my bot. So once you do that, what you see here is it'll hit that breakpoint. And when it hits that breakpoint, it will tell you what the message chat ID is. Well, I'll store it right here in this field, inside the message field right here. So what I did was inside the watch section, I just added that specific variable, message.chat.id. So that will show me exactly the ID that identifies my conversation with the trading bot. So we need this information to specifically restrict who the bot responds back to. So once we get this information right here, I have it blocked out because if I don't, then you guys can basically type in this exact same number and have your bot end up talking back to me and my telegram chat might be overwhelmed. <laughs> Once you get that number, what you want to do is change how um, this variable is assigned. So instead of just assigning every message.chat.id into this.chat.id, you want to restrict it so that you have an if statement right here checking whether or not the message.chat.id matches the chat ID that you found when you were talking to your bot. So in this case, I typed in 12345678, obviously not my chat ID, but you want to type in your chat ID in here. And, then, and what happens now is it'll only assign that chat ID if it matches. So essentially what it does now is Gecko will only talk to you and no one else. So now in addition, if say someone else, if it doesn't match, for example, this dot chat ID equals no. So if you don't have this else statement right here, what happens is as soon as you start talking to your bot, the this dot chat ID gets populated with your chat ID and then it enables anyone else to talk to your bot as well. They will not see the conversation, but they will still be able to control your bot because the chat ID is no longer no. So you definitely need this else statement right here to prevent anyone else from controlling your bot. So now that I show you how to do this, I'm going to show you a live demonstration of how this will actually work. So right now I'm in Telegram on my desktop, on my Mac desktop right here, and also on my iPhone. So I'm about to start a conversation with the Gecko Test 01 bot. So uh, and you can tell that it's currently running right over here inside Visual Studio Code. What happened is I coded it so that it only works from my iPhone and not from my desktop because I copied down the chat ID as I mentioned earlier, the chat ID that you need to confirm that it is the conversation that you are restricting to. So I'm restricting it to only the conversation for my iPhone. So anyway, so let's go ahead and start this right now. Actually, I'm going to start it right on my iPhone first so that you, you can see that's running. So perfect, you see that click slash dot and then Gecko is already responding and it's running. So I can type in other stuff like let's say slash help and it'll respond back on the different things I do. This again is a custom help file, custom telegram. So you can see all these different settings I have in here, buy, sell, uh, setting the round trip, low, high, all these other stuff in here. So, but if I try to start it on my desktop, it will not work. So I'm just click on start and it looks like it's not even online. So this is exactly what you want to show. So if people connect to your bot, like for example, if I have this bot running right now, most likely I don't because I'm just using it to record my video. But like if I did have the bot running while you try to communicate with it, you would still see this and it looks like 
it's just not online, even though it really is. Again, I can type in other stuff here. I can type in slash help in here, and it just not respond. But if I type in on my iPhone, let's say I type in slash small gains. So this will set the small gains to, I'll set it to true. And you'll see it responded right back. So this is the same exact bot, same exact name as you see up top here, Gecko Test 01. So now it works on my iPhone, but doesn't work on my Mac desktop. So this is pretty much how you can restrict it so that only you can issue trade orders through Telegram and no one else. So one other thing I just want to point out quickly, not only can you restrict it, so you can make sure that no one else can control the buy and sell calls, but you can restrict it to a point where you can have Gecko send out messages to a private channel so that you can have all these messages within uh, the channel. Perhaps perhaps you can have multiple trading bots, multiple Gecko trading bots all talking within one channel. And this is how you can do it. You follow this thread right here. It's pretty straightforward. So, I mean, all you have to do is inside um, the chat ID. So again, what you have to do is go to web version of telegram.org and then you're able to pull up the private chat channel ID. So this, in this case, this is the one that the guy uses right here. So from here, all you have to do is add minus 100. So what you essentially do is you use this particular, not, not the exact one, but your chat ID, your channel ID, and you put it inside, instead of the no field, you put it like minus 100, um, whatever, 456, whatever the number was, right? So you put it in here, and essentially what it does is Gecko will now send the messages directly to that private chat channel. So I think this is pretty cool. I have some really interesting ideas I want to play with, but you guys have to wait, and I will probably announce that as soon as I have it set up. So anyway, guys, that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. Peace out.